New developments in the Detroit bankruptcy filing. Tomorrow will be a crucial day in court. A judge will hold a hearing on whether to extend the Chapter 9 filing's automatic freeze to legal action. This has to do with lawsuits brought by city workers and retirees. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovitz joins us live from the courthouse tonight. And Julie, uh, give us a preview of what we can expect tomorrow. That's right, Stephen. One of the experts that we talked to, what he said is the city of Detroit is going to be looking for some protection tomorrow in this courtroom. The truth is I would like to be in the courtroom tomorrow. Yeah. Bankruptcy attorney Michael Lieb says they'll want the federal judge to confirm the automatic stay that brings all litigation and claims against the city to a halt. So it allows the debtor to have some time to think, to reorganize. Uh, it's the so-called beginning of the fresh start. Right now, there are several lawsuits being brought against the city of Detroit by the unions, and there's a ruling from a lower court's judge that states the bankruptcy is unconstitutional. It is entirely possible he will rule that the automatic stay is in effect and bars further proceedings other than in his court. One of the biggest issues at hand, $3.5 billion in underfunded pensions. Two Detroit City employee pension funds face cuts in the Chapter 9 proceedings. The issue of whether the retiree's benefits can be eliminated uh, or diminished is, is not a, a, a decision that the bankruptcy court has yet made, and it will have to make that in the future, and that could cut either way. Governor Rick Snyder and Detroit Emergency Manager Kevin Orr have already said that pension payments won't change for the next six months, but that changes will have to be made after that. And Attorney Lieb says it's also likely we'll see the judge start to lay out some ground rules so we can see how these bankruptcy proceedings will go forward. Also, we could hear some previews to some of the arguments that will be held down the road, including, he says, we should likely hear from some of the unions like AFSCME. We're live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. All right, Julie, thank you for that. And by the way, we will be there for uh, every step of this way. We will have Team 7 coverage for tomorrow's bankruptcy hearing, a running live blog throughout the proceedings. So stay with 7 Action News. And and of course, WXYZ.com all day long.